Hello, we are going to get started today in child's pose. So big toes to touch behind you, knock your knees out wide like a book, and inch your fingers to the front of your space, lay your forehead on the mat, and just start with some mindful deep breaths, inhales and exhales out your nose, really fill up your belly on your inhales and deflate it on your exhales. We'll do a couple together, take an inhale through your nose, and exhale, let it go. Come into a tabletop position. We'll take some cat cowls. You're gonna arch your back, gaze up towards the ceiling. And on your exhale, you're gonna round your spine and look towards your navel. Let's take a breath to movement. Inhale, arch your back, look up. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, arch your back, look up. Really exaggerate the movement, make it feel good. Exhale, roll your spine towards the ceiling, tuck your head in. Inhale, cat, arch your back. Exhale, cow, round your spine. Last one, inhale, cat pose. And exhale, round your spine for cow pose. Come into a neutral tabletop position, T curl your toes under and press it up into a downward facing dog. You're gonna shorten your down dog stance. Take your right hand and grab your left ankle and twist your body through. Really use your arm to twist and turn your spine. Take one more breath. Come back into your down dog. Other side, your left hand will grab your right ankle and you're gonna use your left hand to pull your body through your right arm into that space. We're just doing some spinal twists here. Just take a couple breaths at your own pace, evening out both sides. When you're ready, come back into your normal down dog, lengthen your stance. Push your chest into your thighs. As you exhale your breath, jump or step to the front of your space. Inhale, halfway lift, gazes down. And exhale, fold from your hips all the way through. Make it feel good here. Get a good hamstring stretch. On your inhale, sit low for chair pose. Keep your weight in your heels. Sit as low as you can, but your chest will stay up. Just stay here for another breath. I know you're starting to feel it, but bring your hands to chest center and bring your left elbow to your right knee and gaze up towards the ceiling for another twist in our back. Staying low in your chair. I know your legs are feeling it. Just bear with me. Really just focus on your breath here. Come back to center. And other side, right elbow goes to the left knee and you're gazing up towards the ceiling. Really deep breaths here. Any pain in your body, breathe into that area. Come back to center, inhale, chair pose, you can do it. One more breath and exhale forward, fold your out of the legs. Your inhale is Tadasana, rise up, mountain pose. Really squeeze your glutes and your core here. We're gonna take dancer's pose on the right. So grab your right foot and start to kick your foot into your hand and lean your chest forward. Try to find a good balance here. So just as much as you're kicking in the back, you are leaning forward. Really extend that left arm so your shoulder comes out of its socket. You're looking over your fingertips. Gaze at something that's not moving. Take a few breaths. You're so strong, you're so balanced. Come back to center, take a deep inhale. Let's let that side go. We'll do dancers on the left now. Inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. As you exhale, grab your left foot now, and you're gonna kick your left foot into your hand and lean forward. 
Same as the other side, just as much as you're kicking into that foot, you are leaning forward. Really push your right arm, your right shoulder, like out of its socket and gaze over your fingertips. Take deep mindful breaths through your belly. You're so beautiful, awesome job. Coming back to center, just let that go. Balancing is challenging. Inhale, rise up, mountain pose. And exhale, take it down to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, palms to shins. Exhale is your first Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale is downward facing dog. Take a breath here. On your inhale, lift your right leg high. Toe is flexed. Bump your right hip down. Exhale, knee to right bicep and switch it to the left. To the right. To the left. Just a few more. To the right. To the left. Tap your right. Tap your left. Are you breathing? Tap your right. Tap your left. You can do it. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. And exhale is low lunge, so sweep that leg through. Inhale, your right arm high, get a little twist here. On your exhale, you're gonna drop your hip down for lounging lizard. This is a deep hip stretch. Inhale, your right arm high, let's do it a couple times. Exhale, lounging lizard. Inhale, arm high. Exhale, sink deep. Just a couple more. You can do it. Inhale, your arm high. Exhale, sink. This should be your last one. Inhale, your right arm high. And exhale, lounging lizard. Inhale, your right arm high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, come to a plank position and slowly lower onto your mat. We're going to take bound locust. So interlace your fingers behind your back and push your shoulders back. Lift your feet up. Lift your chest up. Really, on each inhale, ride the breath, lifting your chest and feet off the mat. Keep your balance on your low belly. And exhale, bring it down. You can do it. Inhale to a plank position. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale is downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Inhale, your left leg high, toe is flexed. Exhale, left elbow to right elbow. Left right a few more times left right are you breathing left right you can do it left right inhale left leg high make it feel good and exhale is low lunge on your inhale lift your left arm high to the sky look at the ceiling exhale is lounging lizard drop that hip make it a good stretch here quickly inhale your left arm high Exhale, lounging lizard. We're gonna do it a few times. So inhale your left arm high. Exhale, drop that hip. A couple more. Are you breathing? Inhale that left arm high. Exhale, drop your hip. Left arm high and low lunge. Come into a plank position and slowly lower onto your bellies. For bound locust again, so interlace your fingers behind your back. Lift your chest, lift your toes. You can do this, you are so strong. This is so good for your back, really engaging your core muscles. Take one more inhale, ride it high. So strong. And exhale, come to your mat, push up into a plank position and chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, to the right elbow, to the left. Inhale your right leg high and exhale, low lunge. Inhale your right arm high. We're just going to do this once. Exhale, lounging lizard. Inhale, right arm high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, plank position. Slowly lower down. For bound locust, interlace your fingers. Lift your chest, lift your toes. So strong. Ride your inhale. Push up into a plank position and chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale is downward facing dog, last side, breath to movement. Lift your left leg high. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Then go to the right. 
Inhale your left leg high, toes flexed. And exhale is low lunge. Inhale your left arm high. Exhale, drop your hip for lounging lizard. Inhale your left arm high. Exhale, low lunge. Come into a plank position and slowly lower down onto your space. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Inhale, Shalabhasana. Lift your toes, lift your chest, bound locust. And slowly lower down, push up, and chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, so strong. Exhale is downward facing dog. Woo, you're doing great. Inhale your right leg high. Your exhale is half pigeon, right knee to right wrist. Give yourself a back bend here, gaze up towards the ceiling. And exhale, fall all the way down. I'm just gonna let you breathe here for a second. You were on your arms a lot just now. So enjoy the hip stretch. Just breathing deep. Stay on your mat. mind wandered just bring it right back to your mat to your space there's nothing to worry about just take deep breaths you're gonna find another back bend pushing into the mat curl your toes under bring it back up that right leg into three-legged dog just open that hip quickly three-legged dog and back to downward facing dog for the other side you're gonna lift your left leg high and half pigeon Left knee to left wrist. Give yourself another back bend. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Really exaggerate this motion. And exhale, walk your fingers forward. Forehead to the mat. Just like the other side, you're just going to breathe here. Deep ujjayi breathing. Inhale through your nose. And exhale out your nose. Try to find some meditation in this. You're just breathing. it back up you're gonna give yourself another back bend gaze high towards the sky curl your toes under push it up your left leg high in a three-legged dog open up your hip three-legged dog and exhale downward facing dog you're gonna come down to your knees we're gonna take a quick shoulder stretch because we're on our arms so much so thread the needle your right arm comes through your left your right ear comes to the space Really put all your weight onto that right shoulder if you can. We were on our arms a lot. And just breathe. Bring it back to center just to reset. And your left arm is gonna come through for thread the needle on the left side. Your left ear comes to the space. All your weight is on that left shoulder. Really getting into it, stretching it out. And of course, we're breathing. Unravel, come up into a downward facing dog. Jump or step to the top of your space and find your way onto your backs. You're gonna lift your right leg high and grab the outside edge of your foot with your left hand for an IT band stretch. Make sure your hips are squared to the ceiling. You may need to bump that right hip down a little bit. This is an intense stretch, so we'll just be here for a second. Come down. We'll do the other side, lift your left leg up. Grab the outer edge of your foot with your right hand now and just pull it over maybe even an inch, your foot. And you might wanna bump your left hip down a little bit so make sure it's squared to the ceiling. This is an IT band stretch. So they're usually pretty tight. So we'll just be here for a second. We're gonna bring it back, both legs down. Squeeze your knees into your chest. We're just gonna take an easy twist, knock both knees to the left, your knees are stacked, gaze to the right, arms are in cactus position, both shoulders on the space, and breathe. Just 
just a couple more breaths. Bring your knees up and knock them to the right now. Your gaze goes to the left. Arms are still cactus out. Shoulders still in the space. Just take three to four deep breaths here. Really pay attention to your belly breathing. Bring it back to center. You're gonna squeeze your knees into your chest, your chest into your knees. Give yourself a giant hug for the day. And exhale is final Shavasana. You're gonna bring your shoulder blades back behind you to lift your chest even more towards the ceiling. Slightly tuck your chin into your chest to elongate your neck and let everything hang heavy. Right here, I just want you to let the floor hold you up the ground. Feel yourself melt into the earth. I'm going to keep you in final Shavasana for a couple minutes. You are in a safe place. I will let you know when to come out. I want you to take this as a meditation, especially if you don't in your daily practice. So just deep breaths, belly breathing. Your mind wanders, just bring it back. I'll let you know when to come out. If you find your mind wandering, just bring it right back to your breath. So today I am going to leave you in your final Shavasana. If you have the gift of time, please take it. Find some meditation in this space, in your space. If you like this video, please share and subscribe. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.